The worst evil the church could face impresses the Pope. Before starting, we invite you to like the video, that way you help us inform. Precise words full of spirituality, but also brimming with wisdom, have defined the papacy of Pope Francis. In this homily, the pontiff has delivered a message that even he himself is surprised by, about something so serious that it could affect the church. Worldliness has one thing it does not tolerate, the scandal of the cross, it does not tolerate it. The only medicine against the spirit of worldliness is Christ who died and rose for us, the pontiff stressed. The Pope pointed out that Jesus, on several occasions, and above all in his farewell to his apostles, speaks of the world. In that farewell, he says, if the world hates you, know that it has hated me first. Clearly, he speaks of the hatred the world had for Jesus and will have for us, the pontiff noted. On the other hand, in the prayer he makes at table with the disciples at the Last Supper, he asks the Father not to separate him from the world, but to defend him from the spirit of the world. Given this importance that Jesus gives to the danger of worldliness, of the spirit of the world, the Holy Father invited us to ask ourselves what this spirit of the world is, what is this worldliness capable of destroying Jesus and his disciples? Even of corrupting them, and of corrupting the church? What is the spirit of the world like? What is that? It will do us good to think about it. Pope Francis explained that worldliness is a proposal of life. Some may think that worldliness is partying, living in a party. No. Worldliness may be that, but it is not fundamentally that. Worldliness is a culture, he stressed. A culture of the ephemeral. A culture of appearances, of makeup. A culture of today yes, tomorrow no, tomorrow yes and today no. It has superficial values. A culture that knows no fidelity because it changes according to circumstances. It negotiates everything. That is the worldly culture, the culture of worldliness. Jesus, in his words to the disciples at the Last Supper, insists on defending himself from this, he prays that the Father will defend us from this culture of worldliness. It is a throwaway culture. It is a culture without fidelity, it has no roots. It is a way of life, even the way of life of so many who call themselves Christians. They are Christians, but they are worldly. In his homily, he also recalled the parable of the seed that falls to the ground, in which Jesus says that the worries of the world, that is, worldliness, choke the word of God, they do not allow it to grow. He also said he was impressed with the words of Father de Lobac when he speaks of spiritual worldliness and says that the worst of the evils that can happen to the church is worldliness. And he does not exaggerate, because he then points out some evils that are terrible, and this is worse, spiritual worldliness. The reason why worldliness can do so much harm is because it is a hermeneutic of life, it is a way of living, also a way of living Christianity. And in order to survive in the face of the preaching of the gospel, it hates. It kills. The Pope rejected that worldliness is something superficial, there is nothing superficial about it, it has deep roots. It is chameleon-like, it changes, it comes and goes, but the substance is the same, a proposal of life that enters everywhere, even in the church. However, he pointed out that there is a medicine against worldliness, the cross of Christ, the death and resurrection of the Lord. In the Book of the Apostles there is an example which the Pope explained in his homily, the Apostle Paul went to Athens and was impressed when he saw in the Areopagus so many monuments to the gods. He then thought of speaking to the Athenians about these monuments, you are a religious people. I see these monuments. But I am struck by that altar to the unknown God, and that one, who is the one I know, I have come to tell you who he is. And he began to preach the gospel. But when he came to the cross and the resurrection, they were scandalized and went away. Worldliness has one thing it does not tolerate, the scandal of the cross, it does not tolerate it. The only medicine against the spirit of worldliness is Christ who died and rose for us, Pope Francis insisted. Pope Francis ended the homily by asking for 
the grace to discern what is worldliness and what is gospel, and not to be deceived, because the world hates us, the world has hated Jesus, and Jesus prayed that the Father would defend us from the spirit of the world, the pontiff concluded. <laughs>